guys, welcome back to Sophia's art channel. Today, this will be a complex picture requiring a pencil, two paint brushes. Remember, one thick and one skinny. One er, tracing ruler. One set of watercolor paints. And most of all, one mixing dish, which will be where you, where you mix your colors. So let's start. First of all, let's start with a nice old head. This will require drawing us. Go and a tiny bit snout like that. Perfect. Next, draw the eye. And with tiny little pupils and a small frown. And then add two front teeth. Guessing what the animal is? Correct, it's a mo. We'll start we'll end the face by drawing three tiny hairs and making a small tiny snout. Great. Now for the mole's body. The mole's body shouldn't take up the entire picture but it still can be as big as you wish. But it still can be as big as you wish unless you take up the entire picture. Draw a animal's body. Just the little trails. Just the little trail there. And a good looking shirt. But she doesn't look as good looking now as a shirt. By his feelings, I know. And let's draw one sleeve, two sleeve. Next, hands. Draw one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. <laughs> Look pretty tiny to me. <laughs> Baby hands as usual. Give two legs to the mole. And then two decent shoes. Make sure your picture is as symmetrical as you can. And now comes the most important part. Draw this thing. Draw this and then all the way from there.
Nice, nice. If you can't catch up, just pause the video when you need to and start playing it again when you're drawing. Draw these lines on the dog. And then draw these nails. And you've completed the main part of the drawing. Next step, stones. Draw one. Draw a bunch of tiny stones. Any size you'd like, but some small, some big, some round, some square. Just draw a tiny stone stash that he might be throwing. And also draw one stone in his hand. Don't worry if it looks bad or something. When we'll be coloring, this won't look as half bad. And then comes the hard part. And then comes the hard part. Tracing. You have to trace a sunset. You have to trace. You have to trace orange cloud. Because that might not look so orange until um, you color them. One thing's for sure. They'll never stop being this way. Like this. And like that. cloud achieved. Next, another tiny cloud. A perfect cloudless day. Only two tiny clouds floating high in the sky with the sad little mole. If a part we're trying to trace is unfinished, just finish it. And again, if you can't catch up, just pause this video and play it again when you could catch up. Draw this. And then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And there you go, your very own sunset. In fact, did you know that there's one bull who's as cold-blooded as a reptile? As similar to a plant, and then as to an ant, it's the underground living moles. They're pretty cool, actually. You should actually check out a Ted Ed video about these guys. That's where I found out that such cool people, ex that such cool things exist. Now, time for drawing. Start drawing with blue. We're using watercolor, which means they change color by the amount of water you use. Hmm. So if you want to make it lighter, use less water. If you want to make it darker, use more water. Start coloring the ocean in which he's throwing stones. And also, one more thing. 
when you draw, makes this tiny circle thingy. And I'm even not supposed to call it a thingy, but it's going to be our tiny ripple. And also, another fun fact. Ripples are actually sound waves that are produced, that are, that make splashes in water. Anytime a certain sound travels through water, it turns into a sort of movement. And also, do you realize that every time you find a ripple, it makes some sort of sound? That's the sound wave that is making the ripple. Sounds like a ripple. Sounds like a very good ripple to me. <laughs> Get it? And also, it's the perfect time for some, for a little more watercolor. A little more. A little more. There we go. Oops, a little watercolor. Good thing this didn't dry. This is an actual watercolor. It's called acrylic. And good thing it's still very wet. As soon as acrylic dries, it becomes unerate. It becomes permanent. That means it's, it can't be removed. Good thing it isn't permanent nail. Now, finish, start finish, now finish up your ocean, and if you're sitting uncomfortably, you might get some pins and needles, or one of your legs might fall asleep, that's what ha also happens to me sometimes, but it happens to my arms even more often, and besides, I always forgot, remember to a like and hit that notification bell to never miss another drawing lesson ever again. And also, if that subscribe button is real, turn it gray. And I am apologizing, but this guy, but I think I dropped it. my. Paint. It was just sitting uncomfortably, and if that happens to a few people too, just pick it up and don't be embarrassed. The person who should be the most embarrassed is me, because I am trying to make this video good, and I don't want to fail. And besides, I've been seeing some mysterious likes. My last two videos got a couple of likes. I don't know heck, now I don't know why, but for some reason I draw like a baby. I mean, people just like it. Maybe it was some sort of daycare teacher who liked me. I don't know, but maybe she was trying to do some sort of fun YouTube activity. Look, hey kids. Yeah, hey, drawing. You know what? If if you like YouTube, well, you draw while listening to a video, and then you just liked it and bam. And whoopsie, I guess I drew too much blue, but that'll all change when we start coloring sunset. Let's get this orange ready.
Let's get ready for pink lab. Let's get ready for some beautiful pink clothes. And it looks like we've got a little brown, but don't worry, because our orange is great. It'll color it all off. Orange is invincible. Good orange. Uh, so courage. A nice swallowing sky. She do the trick. Just my good old mom. And for some reason, he still would have said blue today. And ta da! Here we go. Almost half of our pictures are ready. Me in no time. Now, we are up to the clouds. Get ourselves some good. A good shade of pink and start drawing oh, a few tiny clouds. Now a nice yellow sun should do it. Yellow, yellow, so mellow. I came up with that song just nobody nobody listened this to the internet I was only singing now time for boat dogs Get yourself button a bunch of brown, a good old bunch of brown, and start drawing, the, and start coloring boat docks. You can get yourself a little more water if you'd like to. Just it has to be brown, no pink, no green. But your imagination's the limit. That's what they say. Okay, time for skinny brush. Get itself tiny water, water. And then get yourself a tiny, easy, weensy amount of white. Or the stones. Now, one more tiny stone. Now, time for coloring the ball. Most skin is usually gray, so that'll be black with some white. We get a nice, oh, a nice good old shade of silver to finish it off. the entire mole except the eyes and teeth Thank you. 
though this might not sound as good as it, it seems, but if the layer is very thin, you can just draw the nostrils if they're right by all this paint with your pencil. My pencil got a little dirty with paint on it, so it was a little pink. But don't worry, some people have pink nostrils anyway. I'm gonna cool color the teeth. It doesn't matter if it looks like one, two, four, it matters. It's not the I have to I have to look like tea. Now, if some of your facial features are destroyed, don't worry. Uh, we'll wait until they dry while we are coloring his clothing and his arms. So we can redraw them back to normal. I'm having some difficulty controlling this paint, so his arms will just look like this. And it's time for and it's sleeve time with a fresh old shade of red. In case it mixes with the gray. It will just turn into a light shade of pink, into a dark shade of pink. Do the exact same with the, uh, with the other clothes, with the clothing. Also draw the central red. And time for green. It sounds like he was preparing for Christmas. He was wearing such a red and green shirt. Don't worry if you regret green spreads. Just put it all out. Next, trousers. Yellow mellow trousers. Don't worry if it we if it's leaky. That always happens. Even I am the one teaching you how to draw, and this is also happening to me, as you can see. So don't feel bad if you have if you have any problems. People can other people can experience them too. Time for and now. It's time for a good old shade of pink again. Except pick a darker shade, like a magenta kind. Fun fact, magenta is actually a dark shade of pink. And some people don't actually know if magenta is real or not. I'll just add a drop of black here. And he does have pretty big pupils. And there. Perfecto. Behold. Sad will mode. And also. There. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Ta-da. Add a few water droplets and again, ta da! Behold, this is the greatest mo painting ever! And so, if you ever want any more lessons, you gotta seriously subscribe. I am only starting, starter, and I'm gonna be ready. I'm going to do all the drawing that I can. And also, if you ever see me or 
or you can find me near you, huh? And do you know that I live near my near you? Then you can come to me and ask and tell me which drawing you want to paint next. Cause I have a comment off, which if you don't know exists, it's when you're you can send comments on your YouTube channel. It's kind of like an iPhone, but for YouTube. So I'm just gonna leave this some place safe to dry. And you can, and this video is ending with bye 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 and see me next week for for what painting it will be next because it's a surprise for you but not for me goodbye my fans and bye bye and also i'll use to whoever is spanish Bye-bye. Adios.